mm-hmm. nothing. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. And I looked and I was like, I remember back in the day when I could just go on and I could just pick an affordable insurance and I'd be able to call them up and they'd say, we can put you on right now. And I'm like, let's do it. Now, my friend who's helping me do it, she's like, well, I can put you in that type of plan, but it's going to cost you more money. I'm like, nope. I'm not, I don't have the money to afford it or I would do that. But the exactly. thing, this is why we need the affordable insurance. But the thing is, this is like hoops and hurdles jumping over, mm-hmm. trying to get things done. And this is ridiculous. Yeah. And I'm on four medications that are maintenance medications to keep me from going off the deep end. Oh, let me back my chair up a little bit more. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> Uh, but if you'd have been here that day, you probably would have just stayed on the outside. You wouldn't have come in at all. Well, the we... air was pretty blue. <laughs> blue. Anyway, um, well, we're gonna we're gonna hash this out a little bit more. But Verizon, okay, the Verizon store during um, co- or Verizon Total with COVID was trying to do their best to keep their employees and people safe, which I will give them credit for that. Now, all the resellers were allowing people to go in their store, were allowing to touch their phones and do whatever they had to do. They could get you the phone. They could do whatever. The corporate store I went to made you wait outside. You were only allowed to go in when they allowed you to go in, but you couldn't go in without a mask, obviously. And then next thing you know, they were like, okay, well you're going to have to give us access to your phone. So we're going to send you a text link and then you're going to click the link saying allow so we can look at your phone because they can't touch your phone. And then when I had to pay for my phone, they're like, well, you have to go on this site and you're going to have to pay for it on your phone because we can't touch your phone. And then your phone's going to be sent to you with everything. And then you have to upload and download everything on your phone because we're not allowed to touch your phone. And I looked and I said, you've got to be kidding me. So... I ordered my phone. They took my money, obviously, whatever. My phone was supposed to be delivered three days. Five days later, I'm like, where's my phone? Oh, 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 well, it looks like we didn't order it. So you you took my money and you didn't order my phone. Oh, oh okay, we'll, we'll get your phone. Came to me another three days. Okay, that's fine. Next thing you know, I had my phone. Had the wrong case, had everything, so I had to go back, found out the case they ordered me was wrong. They don't have it. I had to actually walk next door to Target, and Target had the case I wanted, and I just bought it from Target, and I just returned it at Verizon and said, here, just take it back and give me credit. So the next thing you know, um, I had the little screen protector where I actually went to um, Best Buy with Geek Squad, and I had them apply it for me, and they were fine with it. Um, I paid them the cover charge for it, but... My phone is a second generation SE iPhone. And since I've had this phone for since May, yeah, May, June, I'm now having glitches on this phone. Like really bad. Like I'm like talking, like using the speech to text on my phone. I'm like, hi, Mr. So-and-so, I'm on route, blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden out of nowhere, my text will stop. Or it just started happening now where my text will look like it's deleting itself. And I'm like, why is my text deleting? And then it stops and freezes everything. I'm like, this is a new phone. What the hell's going on? And then Verizon's, like, coming at me like, oh, well, you still haven't sent in your trade info. And I'm like, damn right, because you people told me that I'm supposed to have my phone until I'm ready to send it to you because, God forbid, the phone craps out. And I'm like, I have my iPhone 7 Plus. I'm about to go back to it if you don't do something. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. But if you pay off your phone, which there's not that much left on it because I paid, like, a huge lump sum. But if you pay this little left on the phone, we'll, we'll, we'll trade it and get you a new one and all this other stuff. I'm like... And I looked at the lady. I was very nice to her. I said, look, I know it's not your fault. I know that. But I'm just letting you know, why am I going to trade in for a new phone that I'm going to have to re-put everything on it again and I'm going to have to harass myself? You don't understand. I don't want to do this. I'm like, I'll probably just keep this phone. And when it's done, I'm just being done. And I'll probably like use it as like a skeet shoot. Pull. Poof, it's just done. But that's how I feel at this moment. I'm just like, really? It just... I, and and the whole thing is like when I was doing the upload from the or download from the old phone upload to the new phone, they gave you a sheet of instructions and told you what to do hypothetically. None of it worked. I actually had to figure it out through myself, and I did it. And I was on I was on the phone with them three different times before I figured it out myself for like over an hour and a half. I'm like, oh god, I have a headache. So I told the person with Verizon on the phone. I said, look, please tell your bosses. No more. I, I'm done. And and the funny thing is, when she picked up the phone, she's like, oh, hi, Mr. Riggio. Oh, how are you doing today? She's like, oh, we see you've been a loyal customer for us for 22 years. And I said, yes, 22 years. That says a lot. And now I'm having issues with you. We have problems. <laughs> 
No, I totally agree. I'm right there with you. I can I can respect that story. <laughs> Been there, done that. Don't want to do it again. <laughs> Stick it to the man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just going to buy a phone was the biggest pain in the butt I ever dealt with when it comes to phones. You don't know what you're looking for, and you can't find anyone who can really tell you. They're only told what make and model you're going to buy. Well, I'm not sure about the features, but they tell me it'll blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you don't know? Is there anybody here that knows how this phone works? Well, I can't say for every store, but I used to work for Best Buy up north. But Best Buy, all the departments had to do training for each department. So every training, every month, they had to be required to do. So whatever the products were, whatever everything was. And I guess we'll be back after this moment to talk a little bit more about that. You got it. You may not think of flu as a serious disease, but complications can lead to severe illness, hospitalization, and even death. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends everyone six months and older get a flu vaccine every year. Vaccines are available at doctor's offices, pharmacies, and local health departments. Protect yourself and your loved ones this flu season. Get a flu shot today. Learn more at cdc.gov slash fight flu. And we're how me talk yet be le anakoptampo. The circle of life is a powerful force. Keep your circle healthy by getting a flu vaccine. Pregnant women, young children, elders, and anyone with health conditions like diabetes and heart disease are especially vulnerable. Your flu vaccine protects me. My flu vaccine protects you. Together, let's protect the circle of life by getting vaccinated. Learn more. Call one eight hundred two three two four six three six or visit cdc.gov slash. I can't believe he found them. He seems sorry. We very clearly told him not to look up there. I'm honestly impressed that he was able to do it. Right? What did he balance on that big chair? Or... Yeah, I mean, I guess he'll just know what his gifts are this year. I really thought we had hidden them well. If they can find their presence, they can find a gun. 911, what is your emergency? Every day, eight kids and teens are unintentionally killed or injured by loaded and unlocked guns. Learn how to make your home safer at nfamilyfire.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and End Family Fire. Okay, and we're back. So as I was saying earlier that Best Buy has monthly trainings that they have to go through where their department is. And then usually we'd have reps from like Verizon, Sprint, or HP, Apple, whatever. And to they would come, come in and in. show you the new stuff. Exactly. And they would be training us 100%. So... I feel bad for the other people that don't do the trainings because, you know, it, why would you be selling a product if you don't know what it is? So Pretty much. I've always said knowledge is king, especially in sales. The best the best is when I got pulled over to uh, uh, the computer department. And now I'm not going to lie. I'm a Mac person. I know PC, but I am a Mac person because I use it for all my design stuff and everything like that. PC is more built for like the office suites and all this other stuff, which is totally different. But when I would have people come in and they would tell me exactly what they want, I would give them whatever the appropriate product was. But <laughs> some people, they would come in, they would buy their computer. Six months to less than a year, they would come in and be like, my computer crapped out. I got a virus and all this other stuff. And then they would buy a new computer. Six months later, they would crap out and all this other stuff. Same person would come in. And I looked and said, all right, I know this is like your fourth computer, but... I know it's not going to be your style. It's not going to be what you want, but it's going to give you more, but you can do the same thing on it. It's just going to cost a little bit more. And they're like, well, what is it? I'm like, it's an Apple computer. And they're like, oh, it's too expensive. And I'm just like, look, let me put it in layman's terms for you. If you want to look at, think about cars, okay? We talk about a Cadillac. Talk about like a Chevy Cavalier. Two different brands, two different makes and models, and the price points are you know, different from everything. If you pay for the Macintosh, which is the Cadillac version, it's going to be built better. It's going to be stronger, sturdier. It does exactly what you need it to do, and you won't have issues with, like, I'm not saying 100%, you will have issues with viruses, but they're very far and few to come. They're, if you come across a virus, which is very rare, it will blow up your computer. But I've had I've had my two Macintosh, no, three Macintosh computers last me 14 years. No issues. 
versus a person that comes in a year later and says, oh, I paid for a $200, $300 computer and it's broken now. And I'm like, well, that's that's PC versus Mac. Now, I'm not telling anyone to go out and buy Mac PC. I'm just telling you. That's what comparing sort of apples to apples, pears to oranges. I don't know what you want to call it, but it is what it is. Hey, it's a mixed bag of fruit. <laughs> I think we all are. So, Kate... I don't have our my normal pod deck here, which I apologize, but I found some questions that I think would be really interesting to ask you right now. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather win the lottery, or would you rather live twice as long? Hmm. Boy. Well, the lottery carries a curse. Living twice as long could be a curse. That's a really tough question to answer. So wait, give me give me elaboration. Why is a lottery a curse? Okay, well, there's there's a saying that people that win the lottery have really bad things happen to them. So far, there's been murders, robberies, frauds. Um, most people that they've interviewed since they won the lottery have had really bad things happen to them. We had a guy from, I think he was from Rabonia, actually, uh, that won the lottery and was taken for darn near every penny and then buried in a garage on the under the floor. Um, they had to tear up the house and break up the garage floor to, to find out, you know, that she'd covered him with cement. <clears throat> I think she's doing life now, but... You know, that's just one avenue. And living twice as long is only going to be worth something to you if you can enjoy that second stage. It's been my experience, though, that once you get past about 80 or 90, you're pretty much done. Yeah, but if you're living twice as long, think yeah, about... Yeah, think about how more decrepit you're going to be. No, no. Think it, no, think about this this way. If you're living twice as long... Your 80s and 90s would be like your 30s and 40s type of your thing. And your 80s and 90s would be closer to the end. Now, you could say that for women, but I'm not so sure that works for men. (laughs) Oh, okay, okay. So, what's your answer? Lottery or twice as long? Ah, give me the lottery. (laughs) Okay, you want a short life? I got it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I I got one for you. You're going to love this one. So, would you rather be stuck on a broken ski lift or stuck in a broken elevator? Probably the elevator because at least it's warm. <laughs> at least, and maybe a fire guy can help you out. Yeah, I'm not crazy about cold weather, so that probably wouldn't work well for me. Hence, that's why we're in the South in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good idea, though. Nice thought. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, and I'll, I'm going to I'm going to do one more with you. OK, because mm-hmm. these are really good days or really good things. But um, would you rather uh, <laughs> this is great. Would you rather like to have a rewind button or a pause button on your life that you can like in a minute just push it and say, nope, I want to rewind this moment or I just want to pause this moment and just that would be me. Which one? The pause uh, or oh, rewind? Well, don't most remotes have a rewind? <laughs> Well, they have both, but you can only choose one button. So which one oh, do you want? Uh, probably pause. So that way if someone's screaming at you, oh, that thought, click. Yep. <laughs> I don't have to listen to this anymore. Click. But what happens when you have to unpause them? Who said I was going to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you could have a little bit of fun with them and then put them outside and then unpause them and they could be screaming on the, like, <laughs> outside in the landscape. And you're like, where did I end up Wasn't here? Wasn't there a My Favorite Martian like that or something? <laughs> oh, <there laughs> or maybe was a, it was Bewitched. There was a bunch of those episodes. But <laughs> the one I think probably most people will probably relate to in the generation was Ann Sandler, Ann Sandler with the click. Oh, yes. When he had the rewind yeah. Yes, yeah, remote. and he paused. Uh, mm-hmm. What was it, um, uh, Mr. Hasselhoff? And he was smacking him. Yeah, but it, remember though, every time he paused, he lost years on his life. Well, it wasn't when he paused. It was um, the remote learned, and so every time he was sick, he re- he fast forwarded his sickness. So every oh, time he got right. sick, he fast forwarded, and, and he it kept did that. getting older. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh man, I had a heart attack, and I was out for six months. Oh, there goes another six months of life." Yep. Christopher Walken was great in that movie, too. Yes, he was. Well, he's great in any movie. Well, 
Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. He wasn't. Eh. Yeah, there's some movies. Well, we'll we'll get back on that in a different. Uh,